Hi, I'm Doug with Script Pro. Today we're at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and I'm with Debbie the pharmacist. And we're going to talk about SP Central and uh, the telepharmacy application. Debbie, can you kind of walk us through your basic process? Sure. Um, they sign a patient in, I check the order and process it, and it goes through Script Pro. I take the label back to the technician and they make it. And then um, after they're done making it, I pick it up and verify it and then hand it back to the nurse to give to the patient. Okay, Debbie, I see you got a new prescription. Can yep. you just kind of walk us through the process? Okay. Uh, the nurse signs the patient in so that we know they're here and they're okay. ready to go. And then I'm going to pull up their treatment plan um, in the computer. This is coming across from your hospital pharmacy management system. Mm -hmm. As soon as you release that, that's going to show up in our script flow system based Correct. on the, the drug type or some, some tag. Correct. Okay, so now it's going to print, mm -hmm. print the label and show up in our in the script flow system. I'll go back and get it and uh, give it to the technician. To Sounds make. good. Okay, once you have the label, what is our next step? Um, then I make sure that everything I wanted to print actually printed, and then I'll take it back to the technician, and they will prepare um, both. They'll prepare the pre-med first, and then the chemotherapy. Okay. Hi, I'm Ann Schneider with Script Pro, and I'm at the University of Kansas Cancer Center Pharmacy with Will Brown, one of their pharmacy technicians, to watch him use Script Pro's SP Central telepharmacy system to compound chemotherapy drugs. Can you describe what I'll see today? Yes, basically uh, the pharmacist will input them into the computer. Um, they will bring the label back here. A technician will pick up the label. They will then go directly behind me. Uh, gather the drugs that they need. They will then go into their clean room. They will gown up. Uh, they will use the computer system to actually compound the IV, and then the pharmacist will actually check and verify it. Hi, Will. I see you have a medication label here. Can you describe to me what's going on with this prescription? Uh, basically, the pharmacist has input the order into the computer, brought me the label back. Um, I will now go and collect the uh, drugs and any other products that I need to compound this. scrubbed and gown now. Yes. You're getting ready to fill this prescription. Will you walk me through each step of the way as you compound it? Sure, I can do that. Thanks. Uh, first what we'll do is sit down here, pull my drug out. I'll go ahead and fill out my label here, do any calculations that I need to do. Any expiration dates. Then what I'll do is I'll grab the vial scan it into the system. It comes up. What does scanning do with the system? Uh, basically what it does is, is, is it's a safety feature. Each individual drug has its own uh, particular barcode, so that way uh, it prevents me from filling the wrong medication on the wrong patient. Right. And what, what is Script Pro system verifying that NDC against? Uh, basically what the pharmacist input uh, initially. Put our drug in the hood, grab our label, and place it on the tray, and actually take a picture of it. I'll go ahead and place my tubing on the bag and prime it. Basically, I was cleaning the tops off to make sure there was no bacteria on top of it. Put the needle on 
this range. What's the volume for this prescription? Uh, the volume is actually 27.5 mils. So I will draw that up into the syringe. Take my label from the tray. And fix it to the bag. I will then place the vial on the tray. Take a picture of the name of the drug, as well as the lot and expiration date, which are actually on the front of the vial, so we only need one picture. Then I will actually take a picture of the syringe, drawn back to the, to the desired volume. I will now call the pharmacist and have them verify that this is the right volume drawn up, and I will use the, the speaker system here. So they'd like to see that before you inject it into the bag, is that why you're calling? Sometimes they do, yes. Hi Debbie, this is Will. Hey, would you like to verify that I've got the right volume drawn up in this syringe? Uh, I sure can. Hold on just a moment. Okay. It looks good. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. As you can see, the pharmacist verified that it is the right volume, so I'm now cleared to inject it into the bag, of which we will swab the port first. Inject the drug into the bag. Guard the syringe, rewipe the port, and then take a picture of the final product. I will now scan my badge, verifying that I have completed this order. take the product onto the pharmacist after I have discarded my waste here. And I will get another one. Now what I'll do is take this out to Debbie and she can complete her verification. It looks like we got some prescriptions that you need to verify. Yes. Can you just kind of walk us through your process? Uh -huh, I sure can. Um, this one uh, says on the screen that it's filled and ready to go. So I can click on him. I've actually already brought it down here. So I'm going to double click, pull it up. I've got this patient. It has their name, their drug. It tells me that they're getting 275 milligrams of carboplatinum. Here's a picture of the vial. And I'm going to blow this picture up because the expiration is on the front. So it expires June of 2010. And then here's the syringe. It's 10 milligrams per mil. So I should have 27.5 mils, and that's what I have. And then I have the completed product here, so I'm just going to verify. And every time you do that, that assigns your initials to sure that action. Mm -hmm. So later on, you can go back and look and see who did the fill, the verify. Correct. Okay. Correct. This is ready to go to the nurse and be administered to the patient.